All right, people, welcome back to some more daily duels. So today is a Thursday, and that means we are using Burning Abyss. And of course, that means that tomorrow, being Friday, we are actually getting a new deck being added on to uh, the lineup. Um, I'm thinking about just going, go ahead and going to Oh wait, wait, never mind. I have the fucking Firelight combo right fucking now. All right now, I opened up busted. I opened up busted. Demon Farfa, Demon Graph, going to Dante, Detach Graph, Mill. Whatever. I mean, I'll probably just mill one. There's really no point. I don't like milling. That's probably the only reason why I don't really like this deck. I kind of fell out of love with it just because I hate the milling of Dante because I always mill shit I don't want to mill. Like that. I would, I'd prefer to have that kind of grain, you know. Thank you. Not fucking put it in the graveyard for no goddamn reason. Stupid. But hey, you gotta mill. It's all about Dante. Dante's world. <laughs> anyway. Uh, tomorrow we're getting a new deck added on to Daily Duels because I'm moving uh, uh, UAs over to uh, I'm wondering what he's going to do alright he places two magicians which is totally fine I, say, I, want, I kind of want to pull the pendulum monsters out of it but then I'll go ahead and you know destroy one of the pendulum scales and whatever monsters he summons because Fire Knight is so fucking powerful oh Oh, you didn't get to, you didn't let me respond on summon. Once card number one, you can target one card on the field and banish that target. Look, I let you do that. All right, you're dead. You're dead. What do you do? Once a turn during your turn, you can target one landmass and the gate effect. No, once a turn, you can target one XC monster. Eh. You're dead. You're dead. Do you have anything? Actually, I want both the Pentum Zones gone. So you're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. <laughs> there we go. Let's just get rid of all of your Pentum Zones. I'm not going to leave you with a fucking zone. Like, why the fuck would I do that? Then Farfa will temporarily banish you to the end phase? I'm not sure. But sir, that's on me. Don't take that. Dante, go ahead and grab me back that fire link. And Fafa, go ahead and banish that monster for me. If you don't mind, if you would be so kind as to do so for me. There we go. Scoop it up. That's why fire link is the dumb card. Fire link is definitely the dumb card. Alright, so I will, of course, get a, another duel. So I'll be right back. Alright. Lost the paper access, which is fine. So yes, we totally know what deck is going to be on for tomorrow's daily duel. So yay, burning abyss. <laughs> uh, I don't. I want to do this play. Yeah, I'm gonna do that play. I'm probably actually gonna use all the cards up in my hand. It's like that. It's like that. It's like this, which of course will allow me to change into Dank Law. I'm not gonna get much work out of out of Sir though. That's that's the kind of, that's the problem. Oh, this would be the perfect time to go ahead and turn into Dank Law. Cause Burning Abyss can use it too. The power, the power that's inside fucking Dank Law. Sir, I mean it really doesn't matter if I activate Sir just has. All they would be doing is summoning Skarm and then Skarm would die. And I'm getting Skarm in the end phase anyway, so no to Sir. Definitely yes to Dark Law. Oh, and I picked your card out. Awesome. Once return, you can discard one card from someone from your deck. Wow, that's powerful. They do have some powerful fucking. I've heard about this card. I've heard about this card in Mega Capital G's video. You know, to fill spell, you go ahead and just pitch a card to summon an empowered from your deck. Like, this is definitely fucking. Uh, Um, looks like a, that new Clown Blade deck. Not fully, because I don't think it's worth 40 cards, but the Filled Spell, the the, the Challenger, the Black Wings, of course, they also do, they only have one Rota, not three like we do. But I, I see it. I see it. 
I'll wait for him to see he's not keeping exit on me because I'm definitely not on resources. But I'll just go ahead and wait for him to XC. Whether it be like when I want to cast Stella or anything, I'll go ahead and just destroy throw one of the back row at him just to make sure he doesn't touch my dark wall. Utopia. I'm not sure if you guys noticed about Utopia, but he's actually too strong to go to Dalmason. Get all the materials off. I'm in control of this duel, not you. Damn, I cannot get a good duel of this. I just, I just keep winning. I'm fucking Charlie Sheen up in this video, so I guess be right back. Alright. Back once again. Hopefully, we get a longer duel. So, what I don't like about burning the vest, the reliance on Dante. You know, Dante. You need Dante. You have had Dante. 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 And you freaking mill three with Dante. And the thing is, out of you know, besides you know, the main burning abyss uh, cards, like uh, you know the main the main nine. You know the sword, the graph, and the uh, and the scar. There's not a lot of Burning Abyss that I, you know, like that much, you know, because they just don't plus and float you as much as the other one. So I, run, I generally want to run less of them, run more back row, and that, of course, causes me to, uh, mill shit I don't want to mill. And, you know, I'm already not a big miller. I never was. You know, I play you bell, and, you know, I never was a big miller. Oh, this guy is using Pierce Star, Star Seraph. So, I'm like I said, if this card went down to one, I really wonder how much this deck could do. And you know, I've been kind of wondering that. Well, that play was anticlimactic to say the least. So, um, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Scrath. Wait, I can take both of them out. I can take both of them out, though. Especially summon Sir, especially summon Graph. XC, Detach, Mill Hammer, and probably not like anything that I fucking mill. Go ahead and summon a Burning Disc for my deck and tackle over both of them. Because I want both of them gone. The only problem is I won't have anything in my hand for it. Uh, I, oh, no, 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 I can go ahead and Dark Eruption and get my, uh, Graph back. Yeah, uh, that seems like a fine idea. Yep. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, uh, I had an experience. Awesome. So, if you guys know or do not know, which, at this point, it'd be kind of interesting that you do not know unless you're, like, completely new to my channel. My birthday is coming up. My birthday is on Monday, June 8th, and I will be turning 21. Yes. 21? <laughs> Finally. Finally. So, uh... Alright, yes, I do want Graph. And then I think I know, like, Cow Cab. Like I said, I run far from Cow Cab because they're, like, the best. You know, they don't plus me, but they move stuff out of the way. Like, move that background out of the way, or move that monster out of the way. But, you know, they're not, like, the end-all, be-all. Yes, so, they're the greatest, you know? Uh, I don't know if I want. See, because the thing is, if he kills my Dante, I want. I want to get another Sir, just so I can beat over both these monsters, right? Because no, all I need is 800, and I can beat over that monster. Because I'm gonna go you to you, so I all I need is something stronger than the 800. I should be able to do that at least. No, <laughs> I want to get both his monsters. Uh, I guess I should just grab another Sir. That's the problem. I only get Sir, I'm going to return only once that turn. Yeah, that's fine. So, you beat over you. And you beat over you. And you go to defense mode, and I'll go ahead. Activate Dark Eruption. Give me back my Graph, just so I can have something for Divine Wrath. Graph, Graph, that kind of rhymed, kind of rhymed. Go ahead and set this back rowy stuff. That's it, you know, and it seems like ever since the hit of tour guide, the deck has to run less back row because you need more of your burning abyss special summon, right? You know, I actually going against a burning disc player who, you know, just by me running a light deck, run light deck being to tower star shaft, he didn't run, uh, want to run the light imprisoning, which, you know, could totally win in the duels just because, uh, Okay. He's gonna pay 3,000 life points to send from the extra. What the fuck is he gonna send from the extra deck? That's fine. I'm curious. I wanna let you do it. I'm curious. What are you doing? Like, are you sending 
Okay, you are sending Harold to get your search. What are you searching for? I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm curious right now. You paid 3,000 life points for a search. Let me see. I mean, life points are just a resource, but let me see what you're going to do. Oh, it is Harold. Ew. I, I thought I was going against some kind of star say off the deck. Like, no, it, it's just fucking Harold. Like, nah. Fucking Harold makes me throw up in my mouth, so no thank you. Yay, winning! <laughs> Alright. I uh, guess I get another, 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 another duel. Bear back. Alright, so, like I said, my birthday is coming up. It is on Monday. And Melvin, you guys know Melvin. Come on, you guys know Melvin. Melvin's birthday was uh, this past Tuesday. So, uh, my mom was like, oh, oh, his little birdie things. <laughs> uh, my mom was like, well, to go ahead and uh, bundle the birthday. Uh, I don't really want anything when it comes to my birthday. Like, just money. Give me money. Always give me money. Everybody, everybody who you want to give a birthday present, send me fucking money. No, no. But seriously, uh, there's there's not really anything that I really wanted. I, I like the same. There's not really anything I really want. Got pedo pedo, but pedo pedo. Crush card's not gonna do anything. Divine wrath, no dark corruption, no sir is like the worst one to get opening. I guess I'll set these and just get MST, but overall not not the best of openings. Definitely not. I mean, well, Pedal has a nice 18 booty, and then of course it's been it's like one of the few non-burning ghost monsters that I don't mind milling, just because the fact it's pretty good. But overall, I I would probably I know I used to say that it, you know if there's any deck I would play in real life, it'd be burning ghost now. And with the tour guide hitting Zandies down to one. It's not that it's not the lockdown powerhouse that it used to be. No, it's just a deck that looks all sad and inconsistent to say the least. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have said these because if I drew a burning abyss monster, I could special summon it. Ah, see, I don't even know what I'm fucking doing. I don't even know how to play fucking burning abyss right. Anyway, to celebrate both the birthdays, uh, Mom decided to go ahead and uh, oh, gem knights. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and go into what do you do? Okay, I guess. Then you gonna play it again? Okay. I see, I wish I could get it. It'd be nice if I got a burger based on stuck use crush card. Never really haven't even used crush card. Don't Gemini select to send someone? I don't even know who the hell is this. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this Gem Knight before. Oh, I thought I've ever looked at a Gem Knight. I've seen you before. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and seize you into you. Okay. And then, when you go, you return all the back row back to the hand. You know what? That's totally fine. I'm fine with that. You can have that then when I'm at it because I fucked up and I put them down there anyway. So. And then, you could tribute this to you know, summon a Gem Knight. He's up on butt ton of resources. I must say. A butt ton of resources. Hmm. You know what? I'll do it. I'll go crane 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 summon back pedo pedo XC into Dante Dante Mill three run him over. Uh, you know, him? I'm I'm not too scared about it right now. I'll temporarily take Pedo Pedo out of the graveyard and then cross my detach and he'll go right back in it. Oop, oop, you got something? Let's go ahead and some pedal pedal back. So to kill two birds with one stone and do a nice celebration, uh, Mom took me, Melon, herself, and of course, Rene, because you guys know, Rene is like my bestest of friends. So, took us four to go eat at Joe's Crap Shack. Yay, Joe's Crap Shack. Oh, who's got something? And I milled another pedal pedal, a scorn which I get to in the end phase. So, and a crank cream. It's not terrible. So, two pedo pedos. Yay, pedo, 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 pedo. I'm gonna be pedophiling with that freaking card. Did I just say that? You can't say things like that. <laughs> Ooh, what do you do? Okay, so he tributes a gem knight to summon a gem knight. That's fine, I guess. Does nothing. <laughs> Does absolutely nothing. 
So of course I'm getting my Skarm search the answer. I was thinking about going Dark Eruption, pulling out the Skarm in the special summon, the Skarm is setting the divine right. I mean the setting the crush card. But for right now I'm okay. I mean, I I accept my set the crush card. It's a set just to the divine wrath. It's okay right now. So Skarm, go ahead and give me that tour guide. So, uh, I don't generally eat out that often, you know. Honestly, Joe's jo Car Pack has always in my life been like the fanciest restaurant so that you can go to, or the, the special one. Always. Always, 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 always. Alright, that's fine. And get Dante Effect, go ahead and give me that scar back. Always. <laughs> I just gotta figure out how to kill this guy. Uh, I mean, I could kill, like I said, I could, could kill it with Crush Guard. I could. Oh, I got Fire Light. Never mind. Never mind. I can kill it. Don't worry, everybody. He's going down, and I'm gonna win this duel. Unless that back or something stop me right now. I am totally in control of this duel. It's not my favorite control deck, but it's still a control deck nonetheless. Go ahead and go into my second Dante. Dante. Dante, no one. But it's be something that I want to know. Eh, it's okay, I guess. I'll take it just because why not, but it's not the greatest of mills. So you go ahead and revive you. And you go ahead and summon from my deck, which would be you. Uh, go ahead and at this point I'm pretty much set up, so go ahead and give me my rubric. And set some more background just to scare the living shot of my opponent, which uh, really at this point only one of the threat. You know, it's not like I'm gonna hit you with the cry. I could hit you with the crash card, but I don't want to. If I math, you're not an effect monster, so. Nah. Go ahead, girl. Do your thing. I was just gonna go into battle phase and come after me. I thought I could seriously avoid this confrontation, but fire lake. Melty de lava. Oh shit! There's an artifact. Oh, but it's supposed to be if it's supposed to be my turn. Ha! <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. And then I win! Yay! All right. Let me finish talking. So. Hold on. Alright, I was just checking my phone. So, it's like the luxury place in my life. I, I want to say, I went there for my 12th birthday where my mom was and my stepmom were idiots. Like, on my 12th birthday, my mom and my stepmom thought I was walking home from the bus stop. And my mom and stepmom thought it would be an awesome idea for my birthday surprise to go ahead, pull up in a car, jump out of the car, blindfold me, and throw me in the back seat. Oh my god, how stupid does that sound? People were freaking taking pictures of the lightning plates, of the lightning plate of the car, calling 911. <laughs> so it just happened to me that one of my friends was walking with me, and then she had to totally tell her, like, no, 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 that's his mom, you know? Because uh, they were going to go to jail for kidnapping me. <laughs> like, idiots. And then we went to Josh Crabtrap for my 12th birthday. I went to Josh Crabtrap for graduation, for my graduation of, of high school. And then, uh, to celebrate my 21st birthday, so yeah, that was crazy. Um, the food wasn't that filling, like, you know, by the time I was done with it, I got a steam pot, and by the time I was done with it, I was still hungry. Not fat, just, not fat. It's <laughs> just like, I was just still hungry, it wasn't that filling, you know. A good majority of my crab, I ended up giving it to my mom, because she doesn't eat that, my, 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 that much, my mom. So she got like a kid, she got off the kitty's meal, should she not. My mom ordered off the kitty's meal. And then proceeded, they give you a kitty meal, they give you coloring book, crayons. She was sitting there coloring, like, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> no, so, she got a, a kitty steam pot, and it had crab, but it didn't have, like, the big juicy crabs that I ended up giving her a majority of my crab meat, because, so she could have some nice juicy crab, because our crabs are, like, skinny, skinny little crabs. Yeah, so, and crab's not that filling. Like, you gotta work for it, tastes good, but it's not that filling. Yeah, I ended up eating, like, you know, the majority of like Melvin's fries and some of the Remy's food because I wasn't I was still full. Anyway, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed myself and you know, a, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> yeah. So I it was just cool. It's just cool to go ahead and go to that place and just uh, you know 
a rare occasion where we're, we're celebrating something. Because I said off of my off the top of my memory, that's the third time we've been there. You know, probably been there other times, but I don't remember. But they were all for special occasions. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to Monday. We're going to party it up. Definitely gonna party it up. Me and my friends wanna go ahead and, and me and my friends wanna chill with me. You know, I have a friend who uh, lives on the other side of town. He's gonna come over just to you know celebrate my birthday, and we're just gonna party. We're gonna party it up. Celebrate being 21 finally. So I'm excited for it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So like I said, I do know what deck is going to be for uh, tomorrow, definitely. And uh, I mean, I, I guess I could give you a hint. I mean, you're, you're only going to get one video because I'm not going to give deck profile viewers because you guys are just going to move to Sunday, but you will get the deck profile of the Cyber Dragon deck on Sunday. But, uh, but I'll, I'll give you a hit. The deck is kind of demonic, which kind of fits because it just happened to be that the first episode that it appears on is Daily Duels, episode 666. So uh, look forward to it. Uh, I can give you another hint. Uh, despite me saying that I don't like milling, and it's not my cup of tea, <laughs> Because of milling, I think that's enough ahead. But at this point, you, should, you could probably guess what the deck is. So, anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with that deck. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.